to episode 24 of the Zazu podcast. My name is Caroline. I'm coming to you from Utrecht, the Netherlands. And this is my podcast about knitting and yarn and everything that's related because that's what we love, right? Um, I'm still pregnant. <laughs> um, and I think, I expect that... Um, this will not be the last episode before I give birth. Could be otherwise, obviously, but um, I somehow have the feeling that this might go over 40 and maybe 41 weeks of pregnancy. So you might, as you might think, well, you might see me for another few weeks. Um, I hope not which would be a small pity for you guys, but I'm kind of done with being pregnant. Um, I'm 38 and a half weeks now, so Monday, next Monday, it will be 39 weeks. Who knows? I thought Monday was a really nice date because it would be the 20th and then you would have, in our uh, annotation, 20, so 2006, 2016 as a birth date. But it could also be like the 2nd of July instead of June. So <laughs> we'll just see. Um, other than that, I had had a pretty nice week. Um, I've been doing a lot of stuff uh, with uh, friends, having lunch, uh, a little bit of shopping with my mom. Um, I already told you guys that she uh, was coming here uh, to fix uh, some stuff in the nursery and well so that's been good I did not get the chance to knit a whole lot but I do have two really nice projects to show you um, and I do have a question for you guys because last night while well, I couldn't sleep because that's something um, that's I don't know I can't sleep <laughs> these days so um, I was on Instagram and I uh, thought, hey, let's check if Instagram has an update because it's kind of not really working on my phone. So I updated it and then I suddenly discovered all these personal messages people sent me, you guys sent me, and I didn't respond to them. So there were even messages from April and May and so uh, I did respond to them now. Um, but uh, if you were one of them, I just didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that I had them. So uh, I saw this small thing icon that I never saw. And it had the red dot with the number in it. And I was like, oh, what is that? Well, those were personal messages. Um, but I figured that out now. I do have another question because sometimes I want to repost something um, on Instagram and I see people reposting stuff on Instagram, but I don't know how to do that. Um, so you guys will probably know how to do that. I just don't know. So sometimes I see these really nice things and I'm like, hey, this could be interesting for one of my followers or... Um, they have giveaways in which they ask you to repost something and I just cannot manage to do that. So I feel like a super nerd uh, right now, um, but I'm just going to admit it. I just don't know how Instagram works. So if you guys know how to do that, please tell me because I'm missing out on stuff. Um, then I wanted to show you something because I did not show you this last time. Uh, so I'm going to show you right now. Um, because uh, not last Tuesday, but the Tuesday before, so last week, uh, because today is Friday, the, I don't know, it's the 20th on Monday, so it is the 17th of June today. Um, 
So last week I went to my knit night again because uh, uh, I haven't been able to go there for quite a while because I had this pregnancy um, class on the same night <clears throat> and the same hours. So you can't split in two. Um, but that ended, so I went there again and look at what they gave me, which was a really big surprise. They all knitted a square and made me this really nice, cool, big blanket. So I'm going to show you, and I hope you can see. I'm going to try and get every square on it. Nope. Trying to look <laughs> through it. Isn't that so cute? And I, I really love this one. Um, the woman who made this, her name is Hadassah, and she makes these beautiful uh, Fair Isle things, um, like these really big blankets or other stuff. And she has so much patience in doing that. And I really, really love that, but I just know that I will, I would never finish something like that. Um, because I don't have the patience. Um, some people even knit it more than one square. And I think it looks great. I think this is actually one of the uh, nicest gifts I've ever gotten. Just to know that you're... I mean, I wasn't even present for... A f well, not a few weeks, like... I think six or seven weeks and to know that they all thought about doing this and go home and spend all these hours of work just for me is I don't know I I I I, I was speechless when I got it I was like you guys didn't make this you know um, so I really I'm really in love with this and then obviously it needed to be put together. So uh, one of the women, her name is Sonna, she um, knitted or she uh, grafted all these squares together and knitted the border to make it like one piece, um, which I know is taking even more and more hours to do so. So, um, thanks guys. I know that probably none of them watch my podcast because they are busy knitting, but, um, I, I really, I really loved it. Uh, I really love it. So that's going to be the most colorful and nice blanket ever to bring with me everywhere. So I was thinking, I could use it uh, as a play play blanket uh, for when the baby's a little bit older, uh, but I could also just bring it in the car whenever we go out and uh, it's fall again and the, uh, the weather is going to be cooler. I can just throw this in the stroller and <laughs> make sure that our sun is going to be, well, warm enough. So um, I really, 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 really love that gift. So uh, I really needed to share that with you. Um, then, before I go on to projects, because let's just do that, um, I'm going to give you a nursery tour at the end of this episode. So if you uh, are really, uh, curious and interested, just <laughs> watch the episode and you will see it, or just skip everything else and just go to the end. Um, I did not finish everything in the nursery, but I'm just going to show you, because I don't know whenever I'm going to be able to finish it. And <laughs> do you see this? This is hair and 
I don't know where to put it. It's wh whatever I do, it's, you see, it's just coming back. <laughs> um, so I am Caroline with the fuzzy hair thing going on. Super annoying, but whatever. Um, then on two projects. So I am so not organized today. <laughs> I feel, I don't know what I feel like. I don't even know that. Um, but I do know that it, this episode is going to be a little bit messy, but you, you gotta bear with me because I cannot do this any other way. Taking a sip of my Russian Earl Grey tea, which I discovered lately and I really like it. So the first uh, project is a new one on the needles. So I um, have to apologize. I did not work on Seep sweater. I did not work on my featherweight cardigan and I did not work on my socks. And that is because as someone else already pointed out to me that babies come first. So <laughs> I wanted to still finish something, hopefully before he gets here and otherwise it's at least on the needles. So I have a new project, which is another, <laughs> another baby cardigan uh, sweater, which is this. And it's a simple top down um, raglan type um, sweater. And I did not use a pattern. Um, what I wanted to do is I did not feel like adding buttons on this one, or I don't know, I didn't want a really, well, uh, time consuming construction. Um, so I just wanted something uh, that I could knit and then and in the end, or uh, when I finish knitting, just weave in some ends and that's it. So what I did was make this open, well, what is this? I don't know how you call this. I just made, made sure this was open um, so it would fit around his head. <clears throat> I'm sorry, fit around his head uh, because as you might know, babies have bigger heads than the rest of their um, body. Um, and as you might be able to see, this is made out of the cotton yarn I bought in Berlin. So it's this yarn, the Moya yarn, and the colorway is Snowdrops. And it's a, yes, that's better. And it's a speckled um, cotton yarn. Um, and this is what I have left of the first ball, so I don't know how much this one will use up. I made sure that I made it at least one, well, I think two sizes bigger than other sweaters I made, so I now have a couple of sweaters for the baby in different sizes, so <laughs> you won't have to wear all of them at once and then we'll be left with none of them because they wouldn't fit anymore. Um, so yeah, that's actually what I'm doing. So um, I just did a, how you call that, garter stitch uh, top and then just knit in the round and increase and divide for the sleeves and now I'm just knitting on the body and I'm just well I'm just uh, going on until I think it's long enough and I'll probably make it a little longer than necessary because I like stuff uh, rather longer than shorter and I'm knitting I'm knitting the sweater on three and a half millimeter needles um, 
by Nipro, and these are the Symphony Wood needles. And that's all I can tell you about this, I guess. Um, so that's a really simple knit, um, pretty mindless, so I can just grab that whenever I want to do something. Then <laughs> I have a finished object of which I'm so, so proud. <laughs> I finished this and Steve was coming home from work and I told him, and this was yesterday evening, and I told him, I finished the sweater and I'm so <laughs> absolutely proud of myself because I was actually thinking that this was not going to look nice because what did I knit? I showed you the sweater last time. Uh, a sweater from different pieces. So a separate front, a separate back, separate sleeves, and then you have to stitch them all together. And that part is the part where I was like, that's probably where it's going to go wrong and it will look like some kid from kindergarten put it together with some glue and stuff. Um, but then I thought, okay, let's be prepared. Um, I watched a few of um, Stacy's videos, who is Fairy Pink Knits, and she has all these really great tutorials, really clear, uh, not too long, really good camera work, like relief, like, um, how do you say that? Just zoomed in on what she does, and she, it's just, those tutorials are the best. So I thought she has to have some tutorial on how to seam knitted garments up, and she did. So I just followed that because I was doing something way different than uh, <laughs> she explained how to do. So, ta-da, here it is. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> And I'm so happy with this. I think this looks so cute. And it has buttons on top. Um, so, um, because babies have big heads, you can open these buttons. And then when you put it on, you just open them and <sighs> close them when he has it on. Okay, that was pretty logic, probably. Um, I think you guys would have figured it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it looks really good. And if you see here, I thought these, especially the sleeves were going to go wrong because as Stacy uh, tells in her video, like seaming up sides, which is stitch to stitch, like the same, they go, you know, you can put them next to each other. That's not the hardest part. But in this way, uh, or with sleeves, uh, all one of the parts you're seaming is going that way, and the other uh, stitches go that way. And then to make sure it's not going to, I don't know, well, be a complete disaster and mess um, was a challenge, I thought. But it actually worked really well with her tutorial. So I will link to that tutorial as well. Um, I have to remember that. Um, so that's it. And I keep on showing you guys because I think it's one of my best projects ever. It's one of the smallest, but the fun part of this is that I now think I dare to make stuff like this, so things in which you have to seem for myself. Um, so this was actually a really good project to, you know, go out of my comfort zone and just try it. And 
I wouldn't do that with a really big garment because then uh, if it's not working, you've already put a lot of time in it. And uh, in this way, it was, it was like, oh, and I told you last time <clears throat> that I had, I didn't have a lot of yarn uh, left. And um, actually I found a really small ball uh, that I had left over from the cardigan I showed you before. Also the baby cardigan, the gray one. And that was just enough to knit the sleeves and graft everything together. I think I had like one gram left, so I was lucky. <laughs> um, and the yarns I used, is, this is all my own hand dyed yarn. Uh, the yellow is chick fluff uh, from Sazu Yarns. And um, the gray is um, overcast also by me. And I'm, I'm thinking, did I tell you where you could find me online? I don't know. Did I tell you? This is such a problem. I forget everything. I think I didn't tell you. Um, but if you want to find me, if you, after this, after all this rambling, you still want to find me online, you can do so. Um, on Instagram, I'm wool underscore box. On a Ravelry, I'm Wallbox. And there's also a group, um, a Ravelry group for this podcast, which you can find in the Ravelry group uh, search section by typing in Sazu Podcast group. And um, you can find my hand dyed yarns on Etsy. And I actually also have a Facebook page, which I am trying to use some more, um, which is Sazu Yarns. So you can find me if you want to. And if you want to um, send me a PM on Instagram, I now know that I get one and I will reply. So yay. <sighs> Cheers, guys. So um, those were my projects. Then uh, acquisitions. I said I wasn't going to buy anything, but I think that books are not um, books are not yarn, <laughs> which is obvious. So I still think I can buy knitting books. And I actually, before I started recording this, I was actually putting all these yarns in some online shopping cart, but I flicked it away. I was strong. Although I think that if the baby is not going to come next week, I will buy it anyway. So <laughs> it's just, what do you do uh, when you're waiting? But I bought a knitting book, which is this. Uh, it says, Ik hou van breien, which is literally translated, I love knitting. And I think you will kind of know this book, or at least you will be able to find this book because it's by Anna Wilkinson, which does not sound Dutch, so I'm going to check um, if it says somewhere uh, where she is from. And it does not say so, which is really weird. Oh, um, Um, I don't know where the Winchester School of Art is, but she went there. Um, I think she's from the UK. Yep. So. Uh, oh, I found it. The original title is Learn to Knit, Love to Knit. And that's actually everything is <laughs> it says so uh but then you will be able to find it if you want to um so this is it and uh, it starts with some simpler some easier 
projects and some explanation on how to do stuff, which actually I don't really get well, maybe in this book, because the original title says uh, also learn to knit. So that's, but what I find strange is that every knitting book you buy, it has all these, um, like it always starts with how to knit. Um, which is strange to me because um, if you look at some patterns in these books, I think, well, um, they are for advanced knitters. So if you would want to learn to knit, you would buy a book on how to learn to knit and you would not buy a pattern book, which briefly explains how you knit purl and buy yarn. Um, but whatever, I'm not going to uh, go there. But I thought this book had some really nice uh, projects. Not everything is my my taste, but I'm going to show you some. So I really thought these socks were really cute, for instance. Then I thought that's our dishwasher and it's going to beep for a few times more. <clears throat> and I should have put it off, but I did not think about that. Um, a vest, which I think uh, also looks really nice. And then I always <laughs> hate these beeping things because I'm like, you don't have to beep for an hour for me to know that you finished your program. I can just see that because you also have some green light which shines on the floor. Um, and I can hear that it's not working anymore, so it'll probably be finished, right? It's like a nagging, nagging someone, uh, but whatever. <laughs> um, I swear I like this. It's all pretty. Well, the things I like are pretty simple. Um, and I really liked the other cardigan. Where is it? Well, there's also stuff like that. And I'm just going to show you one more thing. Yes, I thought these cardigans were really cute. So, um, and then there's more. There are some, you know, simple sweaters, uh, hats, um, the more simple projects, stuff like that. Um, but then, you know, and it actually has pretty, well, like 30? Oh, no. Uh, 20 patterns in it, but I thought, and it was discounted, it was like, it wasn't even 10 euros, so I was like, I'm taking that with me. So that was my acquisition, and I'm going to take another sip of my tea. Then, um, I got the chance to dye some yarns. So I was in the kitchen for the entire day sweating like a pig because I sweat like a pig these days. Um, and I have some new stuff. The shop is not updated yet because they actually are still a little damp. So I am going to unscan them after recording this and hang them out for at least another day. So I think the shop will be updated today's Friday. Um, either Saturday or Sunday. Uh, well, let's make it Sunday, then you'll uh, be sure. Um, and I will probably do that somewhere uh, in the day. And since uh, a lot of you guys are in the US, so at least six hours earlier, uh, by the time you will have had breakfast or brunch, lunch, uh, the shop will be updated. So then you know. And as I already told you guys, uh, as soon as, uh, well, the baby gets here, I am going to 
a close shop for a while because I will not be able to go to the post office and do all those things. Um, but I'm hoping if everything's going to go the way it should, um, that that will only be for, well, I don't know, two, three weeks, some, something like that. Um, although I am going to Italy at, by the end of August, so then I will have to close it as well, I think. Um, unless my friend can take care of it again, but I don't know. Um, so if you want to get some of these yarns, just get them while you can. Um, so first of all, I dyed up some more seashell, uh, which you guys seem to love. Uh, and if you are wondering what this is, it's a blister, blood blister, I don't know how you say that, because I was doing some stuff in the kitchen. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, uh, and this was sold out and I have some news canes. Then I have some of the Roberto Gelato. There was just one skein of this left. So I dyed up some new stuff. And then I have three new colorways, which I'm just going to show you. The first one, I already thought of a name for that, is called Ariel. And unfortunately, you cannot see the colors the way they are, but which is a pity, I guess. Why is this not showing up? Oh, it's totally not showing up. I hate this. I'm going to put on a light and see if that helps. Does that help? I don't know. Is that better? Maybe a little? Well, You'll have to check the uh, photos on Etsy, I guess. But it's actually, um, it's these muted colors that kind of look like an oil, like the, the colors you get when you have, well, oil. Um, so it kind of reminded me of a mermaid's tail, which is kind of oily as well, right? or shells, or a little bit like the ocean. So I named it Ariel because she was the mermaid. And, um, well, she had all these nice shiny stuff and it reminded me of that. Um, so it's actually a lot of purple, muted purples, muted greens, a little bit of blue, um, but you don't see the greens at all on screen and you don't really see the purples. It's a lot warmer than what it looks like on screen. So for instance, this is pretty green, but it just looks pale. So look at the pictures on Etsy and uh, if I can get it uh, right, I will also post this on Instagram because, because then, <laughs> I have a speckled one because I really like speckles and I didn't have a speckled one yet. So this is another new colorway in which the colors don't come out right as well. So you'll have to check it as well because it also has browns in it. And maybe you can see it here, like it has all these different speckles. That looks better. Um, focusing on my face. And I do not have a name for this yet. So <laughs> I'm going to have to come up with a name. So if uh, you have a suggestion and you're watching this on Friday, 
then you can just send me a message or a personal message on Instagram and um, tell me what you think it should be. And then uh, the last colorway I dyed up is this one. And in real life, it's a little bit more, well, it's kind of, I feel like a ninja. If, <laughs> because you see my ass. Um, stupid. Um, <laughs> this is uh, browner, but also a little bit more, it has a, some green undertone and you can totally not see that on screen. That col This color, what you can see here, the paler stuff, at least what I see on my screen, is totally not the color that it is. And it has some browner speckles in it. So maybe you can see that over here. If it wants to focus. Yes. Can you see that? These tiny Come on, focus. What is wrong? Come on. It still wants to focus on my chest. <laughs> I think the camera is male and not female. Um, you will have to check uh, on on Etsy, I guess. I, I still can't can't handle the fact that you can't see this. No, you can't. Okay, so I'm just going to stop doing that because it's really annoying for you guys. So just check Etsy and then you will see what they really look like because I always make sure that uh, when I take pictures, uh, obviously the lighting always does something to it and I'm not the best photographer, um, but I do go to Photoshop and make sure the colors are as true to color as it is in real life. So I actually put these canes next to my computer, look at them, look at my screen, look at them, look at my screen, and adjust um, the color until it almost matches. So you will have the best, um, idea of what it looks like in real life. So, um, and I don't have a name for this one as well. So um, you could also uh, give your ideas for a name for that one um, as well. If you're not watching this on Monday because then it will already be in the shop and then I will have named it. So <laughs> you can still name it on Friday today. Um, and maybe Saturday as well. I will give you until Saturday, somewhere in the afternoon. So if you're watching this on a Saturday morning, you can still do so. And then um, I will just see if something um, is good. Or so I like the, you know, what I like, <laughs> what suggestion. I like. So, okay, uh, we've done that. Then, I have nothing left. <laughs> I thought there was a lot more, but there's not a lot more. The only thing that's left is the nursery tour, which I haven't filmed yet, but I'm going to after I finish this. If you are not interested in the nursery, then I totally get that. Um, and then I will just hopefully see you next week. Or actually, I'm sorry to say this, I hopefully will not see you next week because then finally the baby's here. Um, and otherwise I will see you next week and I will probably have bought that yarn if I cannot control myself. Um, and if you do want to see the nursery, just stick around because I'm going to put that clip right after this. Um, I am going to film that with another camera so the quality may be totally different but I can't help that because this is a webcam and it would be uh, kind of 
not easy to film with this, I guess. Um, in another way than on the laptop. So, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm losing, I'm losing followers by doing episodes like this, whatever. Um, so, nursery tour after this. Um, I hope you have a lovely week. And um, I maybe or may not see you next week. Bye. So, this is the nursery. I'm going to give you a overview uh, at first and then go into some of the details later. The crib. Um, that over there shouldn't be there because those are the, how do you call them? Plinths, sideboards, I don't know. Uh, they still have to be painted white and put on the wall. Um, but we didn't do that yet. Um, that Buddha, which is actually a pretty old one from, I thought it was India, um, is actually not staying here uh, either, but it was handy <laughs> to put it somewhere, and we just still didn't take it away from there. I don't know if you hear those kids, um, that's across the street. And then, over here, we have a nice chair. Um, two breastfeed and stuff like that. And a cute rug. Um, so, uh, the, the floors are all wood. We painted the wall um, in some grayish, minty green color. That lamp you see over there, I got from my mom. So at night time, as you might be able to see there, um, it's a pity that it's not focusing. Can I focus? I don't know. Um, you will get all these lighty dots on the wall and stuff. Um, so the style is a little bit Scandinavian, I think, uh, or at least that's what uh, I was going for. So, um, all these soft tones, um, well, main, main tones or main colors, um, the minty green, white, and just plain wood. So over there are all the, um, bibs and, um, other stuff, bath, cape stuff, and... Uh, here's the sweater that I made, as you can see, uh, and we still have to fix that, but <laughs> um, just bear with me on this and just try to imagine everything complete. This is one of those wooden DIY, um, well, how do you call it? It's not a moose, it's a deer, yeah. Uh, dear, that we bought somewhere, and I really like that. And this is the other uh, cardigan I knit the baby, which is actually a little bit too small for the hanger, but what you gonna do? And this is a really cute, um, I, at least I thought it was really cute, um, a really cute, uh, I don't know, how do you call that? Suit? No, not a suit. Play suit. Something like that. Bought at Zara, uh, which you might know. Um, this is the diaper basket I made, as you will probably uh, remember. And then this is the uh, changing table. Uh, we bought this second hand on a Dutch second hand. Uh, website and painted it white because it was pink and added these uh, knobs because um, we had these from, uh, or at least Steve had brought these from a, uh, from his traveling through India. 
so that's where he got it and it has this detail on the doors and then here you can see a lot of diapers <laughs> uh, what's in it oh and I'm totally not doing this oh <laughs> Okay, then uh, this is some kind of overview closet, and I think it's going to stop recording. Um, let's see what happens. For some reason, I can only make videos for five minutes, and it stops again. So, it's recording again. This is... Um, well, I wanted to put something on a wall with all of these fun things we get from people, the gifts and, you know, some toys, stuff like that. So I bought these uh, crates at Ikea, because Ikea is good for everything. And I am trying to focus this some more because it's kind of annoying. That, that doesn't work for some reason. Well, um, so I bought these crates in two different sizes. As you can see, this is the bigger one, and those are the smaller ones. Uh, so I bought two, two big ones and four smaller ones, and just attached them to the wall. So I laid them down on the floor to determine how I wanted them. So you can see better like this and then just drilled holes and put in put uh, attach it to the wall with a screw and a I don't know how you call those things but you'll probably know what I mean so two screws and that's enough because they actually support each other as well and it's kind of a little bit of a mess still because um, some things should be put on a wall or in his closet, like uh, this was a gift I got, and I still have to put that uh, in his well, in his closet or drawer. Uh, <laughs> this is a toy, <laughs> a toy Seep bought him, and he just put it here. I see that now, <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Um, this is actually something Seep uh, bought the baby as well when we just found out that I was pregnant. It's a leather um, penguin. And, well, I really like it. It's pretty heavy. And then I made this one with uh, just some wrapping paper of a gift that it's such an, I'm so annoying that it's Maybe this will work. Um, no, I just can't seem to focus this camera. Well, it's the actually the most expensive camera I have, so do not ever buy expensive cameras. <laughs> but I made that to go on the wall, uh, and I'm going to show you in just a minute where it should go. These letters you see here are not his name. It's the S for Seep and the C for Caroline, which are our names. So do not think you have a scoop there because people think that, but it's not. Um, and then this is a rabbit I bought at Tiger, Flying Tiger. Um, which, as I already told you, uh, is probably pronounced as Tige, or something like that, which you can see on Show Mylene's podcast, uh, who is Maya. Um, this one I got from my mom with all these rainbow colors, and it has a, a ball thingy in it. And these were also presents. This is something uh, that brings luck. Um, Seep brought that home from his trip traveling through Asia and uh, a long while ago actually just before I met him he 
was traveling for five months through Asia. And then this one we got as well. These are shoes I got from my best friend. And this is a book uh, from Ikea, but I really liked the, the drawings. And it's not focusing, so this is super annoying for you guys. But I just don't know how to make it work. And now the video is stopping again, so just wait and we'll and we'll start with the crib. I wanted to say, oh, I still have three minutes left, so we're going to have to do this quick. This is the crib. This is actually the crib I was in when I was a baby, and my father as well. So it's a really old crib. You might be able to see that. Uh, the fabric is all new. My mom made that white with these blue flowers. And this is where the baby is going to go. Um, not in the first few weeks, because in the first few weeks he will be on our room in another crib. And this is a music thing. So, <laughs> that's a crib. I really love that song. I know, I remember I had exactly the same song when I was small. And then the only thing that's left is this chair in which I will breastfeed. And this little monkey is also bought by Seep. And he's chilling in the chair. <laughs> um, and I bought this fabric, which also has uh, reindeers on it, uh, to make a cover for this pillow, uh, to kind of match uh, the reindeer on the other side. And what I wanted to do with the hand stitching, let me turn on this lamp, is... Um, and with this thing, is put stuff on this part of the wall. And, you know, just put a few cute things there, like this, and the hand stitching uh, fox I already showed you, and some other, other stuff, other frames. And, well, that's actually the whole thing. So I hope you guys like the tour, and yes, there's a lamp missing. Um, I hope you guys like the tour, and if you have other questions about this, then just please let me know. And if you think, where is she now? Well, this room's actually twice as big, uh, but only one part is actually for the baby, and the other part is more like with our wardrobes. Um, something like that. So we're going to put a curtain here, I think, or something else. We'll see. So this was the tour. Time is up, and I'll hopefully see you next week. Bye! Bye.